Hello everybody! Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. It is the Ash Heritor. And we're picking up right where we left off with our glorious expansion into Iraq. And contrary to my expectations, we actually held Iraq. Now it's our current Shah, or Shahanshah I should say, Zartosht, the promised one. He is an excellent diplomat. Uh, he's got all of the good traits. Uh, well, they're not all the best, but he's only comely. He's good looking, but he's not like great looking. Uh, but he is a genius and he is Herculean. Uh, he's a pilgrim. He's a wise man, a witch, of course, holy warrior, and a gray eminence with the temperate, trusting, and diligent traits and a pretty glorious stat line with the exception of intrigue. So we're not going to be doing any intrigue with this character. He has no stomach for it. Um, we'll be swaying people, of course, but that's that's more diplomacy than intrigue. Actually, I don't know what stat that goes off of. Is that... Does that go off of intrigue? Like, it would make sense that it would go off of diplomacy, because you're swaying. But, at the same time, it is... It's a scheme. Anybody knows? Tell me. Unless I can find it out here on my own. But anyways, we, uh, we placated the Shah of Baghdad, Shah Musa ibn Yasar, uh, who is... Uh, so he was part of the Abbasids, but he has created a cadet branch called the Musayids. So that is a family we'll need to keep an eye on. Uh, for now, he's quite happy with us. Uh, we bribed him, we converted him, he's now a faithful Manichaean. Um, he is a Mashriki Arab, but ultimately, like, this empire is a vast multicultural empire. We're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about, like, who's what culture here. Because we got, we got Chinese, we got Mongolians, we got... You know, the, uh, let, let me see, let me see. This is the, the Sogdians, uh, we've got some Saka Iranians, oh wow, okay. Uh, the Kashmiri, uh, Tajiks are in this entire area, some Khwarezmians in the empire, um, and, uh, so, like, proper Persians, and, yeah, we got a little bit of everything as part of our empire. It's, uh, it's a glorious multicultural civilization, which is cool. Um, which, historically speaking, the nations that were up here were actually quite multicultural anyways, and that is ultimately where we started. There's some really cool stuff, like the, uh, the old kingdom of Khotan, and then there was, uh, man, what were they called? It was a small, um, was it Kyrgyz? I can't... Yeah, I want to say it was the, the Kyrgyz Khanate, uh, that was up here that was a very interesting, um, civilization as well. But, uh, yeah, it's just not a, not a place that uh, I guess you learn about as uh, in, in the West at all. Um, this whole region, kind of like in uh, northwestern China and the, I guess, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan. Uh, man, what's the other one? Uh, now that's going to bother me until I find out what the other one is. Never mind. I'll worry about it later. I'll probably remember it randomly at some point in this episode. But anyways, it's just not a place you learn much about uh, in the West. And it's got a pretty fascinating multicultural, like, multi-religious um, history with, like, influence from the Chinese, of course, the Indians, the steppe cultures, and the uh, Iranians. Which is very cool. Anyways, today... We are going to see about bringing some other nations into the fold. Persia here. This should be a kingdom that should be ours. I have a kingdom tier invasion that I could do. But I might want to keep that for when we eventually end up tag, uh, tag going with the, uh, the Arabs. Um, and there is also the Kingdom of Syria. Or Palmyra. Oh, interesting. Or, you know, maybe I do just do the Kingdom Invasion of Persia, because otherwise it's going to be kind of a mess, because I'm going to have to, like, take all of these different regions. I'm going to wait for a little bit. We're a little low on money, and I want to have a little bit more infrastructure. Um... And I want to make sure our men-at-arms are at their maximum, which they're not. So we can actually create another men-at-arms retinue. And I think we all know what it's going to be. <laughs> I'm just going to hover here over it to build anticipation until I have enough money. Uh, let's actually increase the speed of the campaign. 
The lure of language. Time to hit the books. Yeah, let's learn a new language. Or I could hire a tutor to instruct me. No, we're gonna hit the books. I'm gonna learn, uh, Mashriki? Okay, that sounds great. Yeah. And we can learn Arabic. That'll be very useful for, uh, oh god, counselors dying. Yep. Yep. We're starting a Crusader King session. <laughs> this is... Oh no, my spy master. Right, um, what were you doing before? N nothing of import. You were my cupbearer? Congrats, you're now my spy master. Who's gonna be my cupbearer now? I guess it's gonna be you. The Shah of Sirdara. We need a new tax collector as well. Well, congrats, mate. You're now my tax collector, Shah Musa. And we still don't have any dwarfs in our court. Surely we have a better... Yeah, we do. Um, Purush... What? What What are you ruling? Oh, Kashmir. Okay. Um, I don't need to worry about her, actually. Uh, so we're going to just take the, the better one. Uh, yeah, very sorry. But that's how it's going to have to be. Alright, we need to exert some control over some regions here. Um... Oh, damn. We, we have, our empire is just massive. Uh, let's keep control over the, the heart of the empire, which is now along the, uh, the Caspian Sea. So I think that's the most um, relevant. Uh, I'm not going to convert cultures. He's helping me manage my domain. That is great. It's my husband. Or my wife, sorry. I'm used to playing a female character. My wife, her name is Funa. She is... The Stai dynasty, which is a small dynasty. I married her for her stats and her traits, okay? She's a capable leader. Has a, has a knowledge for, or has a, a mind for logistics. But, is what we're gonna do. Come on, hurry up. I can't wait this long. Alright. More cataphracts. You know it. <laughs> it's happening. Time well spent. Nice. Shah Musa likes us even more. It's always good. I am a pilgrim. What can I do here? Um, any any interesting stuff? I could hold mystical communion. That sounds like fun. Let's do it. Servants, help! No! I had a bad communion. <laughs> oh, no. I gained the trait ill. Oh, God. Why? Crusader Kings, why do you suddenly randomly take people's clothing off? I did not need to see that. Ah, uh, horrible. Who the fuck was that even? Yeah. Yeah, it's not something that's like properly advertised, <laughs> if we're gonna use that word for it. <laughs> but like, this game does have nudity. <laughs> and it just randomly, like, I don't know if that was a mod, a mod uh, interference, because I have all the like extra clothing mods, and occasionally the, it does cause some like weird clipping issues. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Oh god. Uh, but sometimes people will just also show up naked, and I don't know why. <laughs> but, you know what, whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. Um, I was ill. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I was, yeah, okay. We have a, we have a court physician. I'm going to treat my illness. Okay, never mind. I'm already doing it. Do no more than is necessary. Excellent. I'm feeling better. I've been overwhelmed by stress, mental break, wanton desires. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, we'll become athletic. That sounds excellent. Let's be athletic. Do not want to convert to the Jesus. All right, that is not the purpose of this campaign. I will probably never play a Jesus campaign. Uh, I don't know. I, playing as the Christians just does not appeal to me. Maybe an Orthodox character at some point, but probably not. There's a bunch of other obscure, weird religions that I'd like to try out first. Okay, I'm still sick. Musa, what the hell? <laughs> he died under mysterious circumstances? Oh no. All right, who's taking over? Ali ibn Musa, his son, huh? Did you murder your father? The rise of the Mongols, oh no. Any county occupied by the Mongols will lose, what? A large portion of its development. Oh boy. Conquer the world? He's free to try. Another little... Okay, well, our options are... 
Alright, well, I know what the focus of this episode's gonna be now. Conquer the world, he is free to try. Alright, uh, well then. Thankfully, there's... Nothing, um... Okay, border kitchen. Here, here he is. Oh god. Um, what can we do? Let's befriend him. You have this whole swath of territory that you can go all the way overhead, and you can feel free to invade Europe all you want, alright? We can be friends. We do not need to be enemies. Alright. How does that sound to you? Alright, uh, she's finished converting up down there, so let's let's convert more territories. Let's, uh, yeah, make sure the, like, interior of our uh, empire is, uh, all good. Diplomacy! Heart of the family, huh? Close family opinion, plus 15. Each friend adds minus 5% stress gain. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna make some friends. My aunt Shani died. That's unfortunate. I'm still sick. Let's treat the illness. Um, yeah, use the best treatment available. Apparently I didn't get over it last time. Alright, we got this. Alright. Uh, inherited tactics, men at arms counter efficiency, and advantage plus 5. Yes, please. That may be very useful very soon. But, uh... This Genghis Khan guy... I lost the trait ill. You know... He's Magyar? What? He's not even a Mongol. What is this? I'm confused. But look, we can be friends with him. He's also gay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Send child to university. Uh, do I send my own child to... To the, no, it's like super expensive to send my own child to the university, isn't it? No, I'll educate her myself. Don't make me laugh, I exclaim. It's Carter that says the joke anyways, and I almost die of laughter. It was a good joke. Too good, in fact. Alright, well, we can form a friendship with, uh, with this guy. A knight of mine. That sounds good. Titles that can be created. The Duchy of Zanskar. Where the hell is this? Yeah, I thought it was somewhere down here. Um, yeah, let's create it. Indeed. Okay, who's gonna be the Duke of Zanskar? You could be the, uh... Where do I give it to, uh... Who's, like, leading this area? You know what? I'm gonna give it to you. All right? You get the Duchy of Zanskar, you can do with it as you please. There you go. It's a good way to placate vassals. Uh, we also have one more to, that we can create. We can negotiate an alliance with this guy. Let's do it. Uh, the Duchy of Aksai Chin, which is also down here. Kind of close to Zanskar. All right, well, we'll create it. And who are you being ruled by? Same thing. All right. We will give it to uh, Matriarch Anakit the Foolish. There you go. Wonderful. Neighboring ruler, one war. Okay. Oh, it's your fear. I will win their unwavering loyalty. Um, okay. After, as their Shahanshah, my vassals owe me their allegiance. My word is law. But how much obedience without? But how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis, a slow response or a half-hearted effort can lead to a disaster. Can I afford such a list? Or can I afford such a risk? I will gain generous leech. That sounds great. Well, five minus five percent vassal taxes. Yeah. Marzaban. What's what's his deal? Is he is he being uh is he being a problem? He's deceitful. He's paranoid. Stubborn. Fear is a far more effective tool. I'm a diplomat, but. Yeah. Fear is an effective tool. We will be both, you know, a kind and just ruler, but that doesn't mean we we can't uh, punish the people that are uh, causing us problems, right? Alright, let's get some more uh, Pushtigban. 
We'll need some more heavy cab for sure, for what is coming. I mean, technically we need a lot of pikemen. We, we have some pikemen, but... Befriend, yes. Let us continue befriending the Great Khan. He still... Why is it not... I, I, I'm very confused that he is Makyar. <laughs> is it just like a random thing? Like... I... Yeah. Does, does it come from a random culture? What the hell are the Magyars doing up here? I thought the Magyars were like over here. I mean, they're in Hungary, of course. Or they, they're supposed to go into Hungary. I don't know if they are. Yeah, they are. What the hell? Why is why is the Great Khan Magyar? Is this a mod bug or is it just like a random thing that happens in the base game? I have no idea. It's a bit dumb. Sweet smiles and little lies. Yeah, Roxana, you're uh, you're a bit of a schemer, huh? That's all right. She's charming. That's fine. That's good, actually. Okay, I'm I'm taking it slow because I'm I'm a bit hesitant because of you know this guy, right? But basically, we're just gonna not kill any emissaries. We're gonna let him have whatever territories he wants up here. And if he starts being a problem, then we'll deal with him. Yeah. I'm not too worried, because of course, like, Genghis Khan, the reason why he was so successful uh, was that everybody that he conquered... Well, one of the reasons why he was so successful. There were many reasons. But one of the big reasons why he was so successful is that he wasn't conquering anybody that was, like, super unified. He didn't have to go up against any... He went up against some large-scale uh, civilizations, for sure. But those ones were all pretty fractious. And already kind of, like, breaking from within. And everything else that he took, like, a lot of the steppe tribes were all just, you know, like this. The Russian principalities were as fragmented as they are on this map. Uh, Persia was not as fragmented, but, you know, semi-fragmented. Uh, there were quite a few uh, little kingdoms there. Uh, yes, there was the Khwarezmian Empire. Um... But they were already on the decline. Um, yeah, yeah, I will. I will go to your court. Mm -hmm. Please don't vomit on me. Right, you're only you're my high almoner. You shouldn't be vomiting on me. That's only my spy masters do that. All right, we've got Bailey's, so we can uh, we uh, we can make really sweet cocktails. Sorry, bad joke. I'll stop. Maybe. I can't promise anything. Um. What I can do is also upgrade castles, but at the same time, like, I wish I could upgrade castles here, but they're not of my culture, so... Actually, they are! The Sogdians, huh? They, they certainly are. Alright, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for this for you guys, alright? Just because, if I don't, I worry about what might happen. You guys are not Sogdian. Wait, now I'm confused. You're Sogdian, yeah. You're Sogdian. So... Why? I can't upgrade the... Yeah, I can. Alright, and we will. Alright, I'm upgrading all these castles for you guys. We, uh... We need to make sure the Khan doesn't come. Alright, so we have a son now. No, what? Okay, uh... Will we name him Farnch? We can. Sure. We'll name him Farnch. He's not gonna be my heir, though. Alright. Roxana here is going to be my heir. I'll spend the prestige, no problem. Beast in awe, Daria, Daria, you're my, uh, no, you're not my court physician. Um, who are you? Well, somebody that's in awe of me, apparently. Well, the Borgogins are a little bit more, uh, powerful now. Farewell to my high almoner. Wow, nobody vomited on me. That's truly lovely. Just delightful. Don't you love a party where you don't get vomited on? Um, befriend scheme power plus 30? Sounds awesome. Let's do it. I will be Zartosh the Friendly. Okay. We will tame the Mongols. 
Uh, more castles. Yes. That is what we need. Uh, I can't build a castle there. Uh, I can't build a castle there either. What about here? No? I can't upgrade castles is what I should be saying. No. Uh, here, yes. And we will. Okay. Uh, what about here? Yep. Let's do that. And... Yeah, I just want to make sure we're, like, we're ready. Man, Toxun is still only has, like, one holding. Like, Toxun's been one of the oldest territories in my empire, and it still only has one holding. Kind of makes me think that whoever's in charge of Toxun is a... is dickhead. You, sir. You have the... You have 28... Please. Do better, Okay. Like, all of your friends have better holdings, right? Do I need to build holdings for you? No, I'm not going to waste my money on that. I'll build holdings for myself. Or I will build more holdings for myself. Holy crap, our money. I will not forget this gesture. Gustav, what is this? Uh, this man is engaging. I want to inform you of a most appalling discovery made about Shah Gurak. This man is engaging in unsavory and dishonorable activities behind your back. I sincerely hope bringing this... Sensitive information to your attention will prove my unwavering loyalty towards my sh towards you, my Shahan Shah. Shah Gustav. Ah, you're a bit of a bootlicker, huh? Um, this will give him a hook on me. Yeah, he's my spy master, it's fine. What's he gonna do? Secure his place in my council? Like, <laughs> he's got the best intrigue. Uh, okay, we have Gustav here. Uh, I will warn Gustav. Yeah, if only I could get a bit closer. Yeah, I'm not a good intrigue person. I'll torture the information out of them. No. Uh, I will warn Gustav. He's my spy master, after all. I'm sure they're up to something. He can sort sort it out. <laughs> I'm a poor. Uh, <laughs> I have no intrigue. Uh, powerful vassals expect council positions. Yeah, they can. They can go screw themselves. All right. All right. Um, keeping an eye on the Mongols. They are expanding rapidly. Can we be friends? We are already. We're we're still trying. Oh no, we're not. We didn't. We didn't succeed. Shit. Well, let's let's sway him. If they come for me, I'm ready for them. Well, I will be ready for them once I get more cataphracts. There we go. So many cataphracts. It'll be glorious. We have, we have a pretty big army. And we have a lot of knights. We should be okay. Uh, let's actually get all of the pikemen that we can. Because this is something that we'll need to deal. Or it'll be beneficial when dealing with the Mongol cav rush. Which uh, might be coming. <laughs> We're trying to avoid it for now. But just to be certain, you know, it's we'll, we'll make friends with him. But, you know, in our offhand, we're, we're carrying a knife just in case. You know, a wise man once said, have a plan to kill everyone you meet. And that is exactly what we're doing. Uh, yeah, we'll go to your, uh... Your feast. I'm expecting the vomit any second. Feast, the dilemma! Okay, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna form a friendship. It's a subject that fascinates me well. Yeah, more friends is better, because we actually have less stress. What a good evening! Oh my god, look at his chin. You could, like, forge Damascus steel swords on that chin. Like, wow, look at that. That is a chin I am intimidated by. Alright, um... What a feast. I'll remember the days spent in Satrap Zirar's halls for a long time. Wow, and no vomit. Wonderful. In case you haven't guessed, I'm a little bit traumatized by the, by the vomiting thing, alright? It happened a lot. <laughs> It will be my pleasure. Oh my god, so many feasts. Why is everybody partying? There's the fucking Mongols up here. <laughs> Alright, we'll be friends with her too. Yeah, good. 
Um, speaking of befriend schemes, let's let's find some young rulers that aren't going to immediately die. Maybe the maybe this guy. He's young. He's only thirty. Let's befriend him. That was my son. Now it's my brother. We'll befriend my brother. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, how's our retinues looking? Feast returning home. Farewell, my cousin. Again, no vomit. Excellent. All right. Max units of pikemen. That's good. Um, what do these guys counter? They counter archers. Unfortunately, I don't know what horse archers count as. Uh, I gain admired feats, monthly prestige plus fifteen percent. Maybe focus on S. Fandiar's accomplishment. So we'll have a thing, or. The friend scheme gains prestigious image. No, I don't need to increase uh, disposition, so we'll do that. Okay. Um, let's upgrade our light cavalry to their maximum. This should be good. Great. We have another diplomacy perk. Heart of the family, close family opinion. Let me actually look and see uh, personal scheme success chance against family members, friendly counsel. Ooh, each friend relations gives you two random skill points. That's pretty good. Let's, let's go that because we're, we're gonna we're gonna make a lot of friends. All right, neighboring ruler lost war. Don't care. Just keeping an eye on the Borgenjins. He's liking us a bit less. Don't don't know why. Because I'm a witch? What if I make you a witch? We could you could be a witch too. And then everything would be fine. Uh my lord, I think that young Katra could learn a lot if she got the opportunity to study under your tutelage. Satrap Azarm's daughter laughs before waving at us. Uh, she seems nice. Sure. Do I really gain anything by this? No. But I'm a good guy. I'll educate his daughter. Absolutely. War declared. Fuck's sake. Here we go. Alright, well. The Mongol invasions, they have begun. Don't have quite as much money as I would like, but we'll deal with it. It's also in winter, which is uh, concerning. Let's get a rally point here. I guess he didn't like me trying to convert him to witchcraft. Let's, uh... Levy the armies up over here, but... Whew. Doing that in mid-January in this region with harsh winters? I don't know. I think we're gonna wait. Councillor Kwanmu died, of course. What a way to start a war. Have my Chancellor die on me. Shah Renyuan of Chichia? Yeah. Wait, you're a dwarf. You should be my court dwarf. God damn it, now I can't make it my court dwarf. Alright, fine. Uh, we also need to convert cultures, or convert uh, religion, so let's put you there. Nine years, wonderful. Uh, why don't you train commanders right now? We don't need to exert control at the moment. Okay, I got my rally point here. It is now March. Let us rally the entire goddamn legion, because we're going to need to. I don't know what the numbers are gonna be this this may be uh this may be intense i don't know how dangerous or how uh, how hard this this war is gonna be so this is one of the crappy low quality armies there's a lot of them actually so why don't you go over there you go over here you go over here you go over here and you go over here all right they're gathering Ooh, we are losing a ton of money here. Very well. Um, do we want you in the court? Uh, yeah, actually. You, you'd make a good knight. Let's, uh, let's find you a spouse. Uh, again. Traits, preferably. I wish it didn't reset it every single time. Yes, I know there is a thing that allows you to save it. So that it'll automatically do that for me. But it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh man, we are losing a bit of money. 
Okay, this isn't what I wanted to do at all. I click one of these armies, and it, like... This... Yeah, this is one of the issues I have with this game. It's like you'd expect clicking this army and then moving it up there would separate it from the lot of them, and it just doesn't. So I basically have to... Now, split everything. Oh, God. Right, you guys all go down here. So what do we do? Do we invade up into Mongol territory? I, I honestly don't know. It's already July. We're going to be suffering attrition no matter what we do. Um, so I feel like maybe I should... Should I split this army as well? I don't know. You don't look too good, mate. Who's leading this army? Alright. You go on up here. We're going to... Um, oh man, the supply limits are so bad. Look at this. We're going to be suffering like just horrendous attrition. Um, no, you, you go up this way. Okay. Head up into the mountains there. You are going to move in support of my main army. Holy crap, the Borgesians. Oh my god. Where where are their forces? Oh yeah, I'm I'm educating you myself, girl. What's her focus? Intrigue? No, we're going to have her go into uh diplomacy. All right. She's going to follow in my footsteps. A scheme at court! We must stop the villain who's trying to kill one of my knights. What a jerk. Okay. So what, what I'm going to do immediately just to kind of prevent the supply lines from getting really uh, badly muddled is split my armies. Um, okay, we have a, a traitor, huh? A scheming against my Aswar. Oh my god, my knights. My knights are scheming against each other. You? Jesus, your stats, though. No, I'm not going to throw him in jail. Let the traitor be known. Yeah. That's how we're going to have to do it. Um, holy orders. I kind of want to summon one of the holy orders. Um, let's actually summon the uh, horse archer holy order. Can give the Mongols a taste of their own medicine. And let's bring them up to here. How are they gonna no, they're gonna like die if they go up that way. Let me go through here. Then up through here. Yeah. We'll do it like that. Alright. Where are their armies? That is the question. Welcome to our communion, brother. Oh, we converted Genghis Khan. He's now a witch. <laughs> Alright, you go up there. And okay. Uh Shit. It's... No. Don't. Just keep the army together, then. It's just gonna... Oh, my God! That's an army, all right. Okay. I kind of feel like having everybody converge around over here. This is a bit intimidating. I think we can win. If we are able to pull back in time. Which I'm not confident on. I feel like we may lose this army. No. Go, go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Right, stay stay in the territory over there. It's midwinter. We are definitely losing some stuff. Um, okay, there's an army coming. There's two armies coming, but we will be fully converged here. So if they want to engage us, uh, I could start a private garden. No, I need to sell everything right now. I would love to start a private garden, but right now I need all the money I can get. Get out of here, people. Oh boy, uh, where are they all going? That's a bit concerning. I'm gonna try and head them off, actually. Fight them in the snow. We can break off a few of them, if we're lucky. I think we should be able to. Yeah, well, we'll be able to take these guys at least. It's a small force. Uh, oh god. 
in flagrante. While walking down the street in town, I hear some odd noises nearby. Grunts and random utterings of words. Done with clear rhythm and intonation. Curious, I quietly go over to the source of the sound, and to my surprise, come across two commoners fornicating in the middle of a dark alleyway. If they were trying to be discreet, they obviously failed. Ah, my lord, the man says, embarrassed as he lets go of the woman's hips and pulls up his pants. She's just a strumpet. I paid for her. She's just a strumpet I paid for. <laughs> he paid for me fairly. We'll find somewhere more private, the strumpet explains, flustered, rearranging her dress as she takes his hand to flee elsewhere. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, some may disagree, but it's not my place to judge others. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Alright. So we beat a little army of theirs. We captured a guy. Um, we need to defend our territory. Because any places the Mongols take uh, lose, like, massive development. So... Honestly, I need to beat them. I, I, I'm, I'm not going to conquer their territories. That's going to take forever. Alright, we're fighting them there. That's good. Little, little armies, little clashes. Um, okay, less little clashes. Alright, we're gonna do this here then. That's fine. You guys can trickle in your forces. Piecemeal. That's okay. I, I'd be happy to slaughter them. More? Okay, yeah, just keep them coming. You guys too? It's very brave. Very brave. Uh, yeah, we'll own her... She resisted my lessons, goddammit. Okay, uh, let's go over here. Let's beat them there. Because I do not want to, uh, have them taking my territory, so let's just beat as many of them as possible. As far as all of their leaders goes, this is just kind of funny, because, like, we're fighting the Mongols, but they're, they're actually the Magyars. It's, uh, you know, I bet, the, I bet you thought these guys were Mongols. No, they're, they're Hungarians. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit weird. Kind of... I, I don't know if this is a just a mechanic in the game where it, it like randomizes the, the nomadic culture that Genghis Khan is part of. If so, it's a bit stupid. It's a bit stupid. Like, randomizing some of his other traits, like, okay, him being homosexual, you know, whatever. Like, okay. But having them not be Mongol just completely changes the flavor of the event. Also, what the fuck are the Magyars doing all the way over there? I know they're a steppe tribe and they, they were like nomadic, but they, strictly speaking, were more Central Asian. Not East Asian. Alright, thicker than water. Yeah. Do that. Okay. Um, yeah, the rest of their armies are all over here. And, hmm. Where's my uh, Holy Order? Ah! The map! Okay, I'm going to keep one of my armies over here. And my Holy Order is going to link up with them. Time well spent. Great. You do not have a... No, you do have a leader. Alright. So they moved into Zatisu. These guys are sieging here. I don't want that. Um, 16 months. I don't think we're going to reach there in 16 months. There's more of them showing up. Uh, we need to head them off. We just need to beat their armies where we can. But, like, overall this has been not too challenging. Mostly annoying. But that's, that's about it. Oh! We're in debt! How the hell are we in debt? How did that happen so fast? We were doing pretty good for money. For a while. And now, all of a sudden, we're not. Well, this, uh... Makes things interesting. Is there anything I can do? Um... I borrow from a holy order? No. Because I don't have, uh... Alright, we're gonna do that. Do a mystical communion. Shit. Okay. There's these big armies here. Let's let's head them off now. We can. Oh boy. Um, I can imprison criminals. Who are you? 
Yeah, I'm gonna imprison these guys. Purely for the reason of... <laughs> ransoming them. <laughs> so that I'm not in debt. Alright, who are you? You're, you're a knight. Can we recruit you? We can, and we will. Rally the troops. Who is fighting me? Okay. Okay, I see. I would rather lose that war than the, lose the war against the Mongols, to be certain. Okay. How are we doing? We're winning. This is good. Alright, nice. We won that battle as well. You guys are moving down here. I don't like that. Okay, we're fighting up there. We're probably going to lose that, unfortunately, because they just called in a bunch more men. Okay, that's bad. Pull back here. Um, where's this army going? They're going right there. Alright, stay exactly where you are. We'll, we'll form up with them. Where we can. And we'll beat this army. I've been overwhelmed by stress. Oh my god, so many people dying. Jesus! Oh man, so many people dying. Holy crap. Only one counselor though. Okay, it was unfortunately my brother died. Farnch. Was that Farnch? I don't know. Uh, I'm known for my dedication to my faith. Wonderful, that's, that's fantastic. I'd like to be known as the guy who defeated the Mongols though. Alright. Um Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna pull up to here. And head them off before they can do too much damage. Where are they going? They're they're going up there. Interesting. Alright, let's form these guys up into one one force and hit them. Okay, they don't have too big of a, an army. Who are these guys? Are these raiders? I'll deal with them in a sec. Okay, we massacred them. Let's let's kill these jerks. I don't know what they're doing. Only the finest? No, hell no. Um, I do not need things to legitimize my rule. Absolutely. I'm a holy man. Enemy combatants captured. Who are you? You're a knight? Wonderful. We're gonna recruit him. But we need more knights, so... We... Well, actually, we don't. We're, we're doing pretty okay night-wise. And we're earning money again, so that's good. So this is Borkajin territory. So do we, we... We capture one? Let's capture one. We'll hone Roxana's skills. Yes, please. Nice. She increased her diplomacy by one. Very good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna ignore the, the small enemy to my south for now. Um, Alright, you guys go up, and we're gonna actually start taking some of their territories to get some war score. Right now, we're just denying them, which is fine. Um, gotta make sure that none of them have, like, snuck through other lands to attack me. No. Alright, there's an army here, though. Two large armies here, though! Okay, back, 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 back. Where the fuck did they come from? Actually, go up this way. Oh boy, we're gonna lose our main force. That's a problem. That is a big problem. Oh man, we got massacred. Whatever. Don't care. Don't have time for people committing- Did our entire army get destroyed? Whoo! The whole army was massacred. Oh boy. Yeah, that was against Genghis himself. Alright, we need to pull back. Pull back and reunify. I've got a uh, rally point up there. I want to bring one a little bit farther back into my territory. That- that hurts. That hurts a lot. Alright, let's remove this one. And add a rally point right here. Okay. Yeah, that was not a good defeat. I mean, no defeat is good, but this one was worse. Worse than normal. <laughs> no, I do not want to go that way. I want to go this way. I want to snake around. Good, we can do that. Okay. Um, can you guys hurry up? I don't know about this, guys. What's he invading? What is this war for? 
<laughs> the entire empire. Oh my god. Let's not lose this. Let's not lose this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's not lose this. Alright. Oh god. I can't afford mercenaries, because mercenaries are fucking useless in this game. They're just unreasonably expensive for, like, negligible... For the negligible size of the force that you get, it's... yeah. My next campaign, I'm gonna download a mod that's gonna make mercenaries a bit more, uh, viable. Unless I'm missing something. If I'm missing something and, like, mercenaries are actually good... Uh, do let me know. <laughs> I guess it's... Okay, you're my tax collector. Congrats, you're now my steward. And, uh, you are going to be... My tax collector, yeah. Okay. Um, I have amassed my forces. Unfortunately, there are not many of them. We're still... Recruiting. So, ho I'm hoping that we'll have a bigger force. Once it's done recruiting. Call the role model. Great, he's temperate. Come on. Can we get a big chunk of guys gathering? It takes so long. Meanwhile, they're gonna take some territories, and that is not good! Alright, Roxana has been asking me for a stick horse for a long time. <laughs> I told her I would get her one for three months if she displayed more focus in her studies. Um, I should teach her a more flexible way of thinking? No. Um, she must be taught to take me at my word. Content. Or trusting. Or I could give her fickle. No, I'm gonna... Content. Screw it, I'll let her be content. That's fine. I don't like the trait, but it's not the worst. Please! I hope it's the men-at-arms. Recruitment, or uh, reinforcements for the men-at-arms. And knights and that type of stuff. Okay, we're losing some sieges. Oh my god! That immediately causes that much war score? For one siege? Jesus! Oh man. How though? Why? We were winning the war. I... E even with the battle that we lost. Damn. And it's taking so fucking long to, rec to recruit these guys. It's ridiculous. Another siege lost. Okay, that's against the other guys, so that's fine. Alright, this really isn't very many men. But I'm hoping it's gonna be enough. Can we move? Like, that'd, that'd be great. Oh, this is impassable terrain, of course. Uh, let's move down here, then. We'll, we'll, we'll take the long way around, because they're going to eventually come through my territory, so... We'll need to sneak up and around through here. The Age of Knowing, yeah. Let's make her a witch. I really... Who? What happens if we lose? Is it just like, is the campaign over? If so, uh, I'm calling bullshit on this whole mechanic. Um, but I guess we'll see what happens. Because, like, historically speaking, there was the whole, like, we could have submitted, um, how we acted in the war would often determine, like, how the Mongols treated us. But, like, none of that was ever even an option. Like, ha had it been an option and I refused? Okay, sure. Um... You're an intrigue character. I will... Actually, I'd rather have you go into uh, diplomacy as well. Educate child. Not you. Some diplomat, preferably. Um... I don't know, I don't really have anybody good to educate him with. Um, so I'll do you. You can educate him. I do not have the money to send anybody off to a university right now, so... Um, I, I'm just hoping we can restore... What the hell? Why are they unraised? 
I specifically click raise the forces. Oh, this game sometimes. Yeah, I know they were wiped out. But, like, I thought that's what we were waiting for. How long is it going to take? 20, 24 days? Okay. Fine. Can we raise more? Can I raise the local army as well? Alright, there we go. That's that's something. That's an army. And can we, we raise all? I need all the forces I can get here, so. And, yeah, we're losing, we're losing territory. Which is a big, big problem. We also have a revolt. Or somebody has a revolt here. Oh, man. We're losing... Guys, stop. Itchy! I'm itchy! My neighbors below are probably being like, what the fuck, dude? Okay. Um, yeah. Sorry. I'm, I'm a bit quiet because I'm 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 trying to trying to strategize in my in my 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 head brain. Okay. I need both of these forces to be together, kind of close together at least. Um, so we are going to go up here. I, I want to just beat their army. If I could capture Genghis, that'd be great. But he just trounced us. In the last battle, I completely obliterated the army that I had. Which, okay, fine. I'm, you know, the Mongols did that. <laughs> like, it was very hard for a predominantly infantry-based army to escape from an almost entirely cavalry-based army. Um, so that I'm okay with. But the fact that there was no diplomatic options before this declaration of war, I call a little bit of bullshit on. Oh my god, yes. Absolutely. Give me that. I need that really bad. I'm not gonna buy anything just yet. Um, man, this is... this is tense. Okay, we're gonna retake this castle. And we're gonna retake another one of these castles. This one? Cherik? The problem is, is like, these things have, have just been, like, chunked. They're, they're basically, like... They've basically been raised. Um... Okay, no, we're gonna head them off, actually. Before there's too many of them. Because I don't want to deal with this. Okay, they're coming for me. Oh lord, they're coming. No, they're not coming. Okay. Can I just leave a siege force here? A small one? Itty bitty siege force? Let's do it. Let's move the main army. Yeah, because this is now, like... A Does it have to be my horse archers? Like, to my knowledge, horse archers are not the best for sieges. Okay. Education is at its end. Alright, Katara has been educated. Wonderful. Alright, I'm actually then going to educate my son. Myself. Um, remove guardian. Yeah, sorry. We are going to educate him. Thank you. Okay, where's their armies? Man, it's... Oh, uh, we lost Baghdad. What are they trying to take? They're taking one Mars planet. You can have it, mate. I'll retake it later. I don't want to be on a war in two fronts right now. We've discovered bow making, that's good. Uh, what else are we gonna work on? Yeah, let's work on Divine Right. Uh, actually, Divine Right's pretty useless. Let's, let's work on Heraldry. Where, where am I? Where are my armies? No, really, where are my armies? They're here. What are they doing? Like, they're just... They're moving so fast. They can basically do nothing. Okay, we've, re we've retaken this. So I should be splitting off um, my catapults. Are we in a castle territory? No, we're not. Can I click on the other one, please? Oh my god. 
Jesus Christ, this game sometimes. You go up there. You guys need to... Well, why can't I merge them? Okay, you guys... No, do not go that way. That is an ab absolutely awful idea, okay? Well, at least we can, like, take these territories back very fast. So the problem is, is I cannot catch them. <laughs> I literally cannot catch them. Which makes sense. They're Mongols. It's very annoying. I would... Man! They're, they're moving so damn fast. Okay, they're coming They're coming up here now. Let's see if I can... Head these guys off? No, we're not gonna catch them either. Um... They're, they're just taking everything in such rapid succession. They are literally sieging stuff faster than I can pursue by land. I, I'm really hoping I'm going to catch them before. Otherwise, yeah, I'm also calling bullshit here. Um, I have more important men to... Pr I mean, he likes me anyways. I wonder... No. I, I, if we capture Temujin, I'm executing him on the spot. That's, uh, that's what's happening. Okay. Okay. Um... Alright, let's hope we can manage this. You guys, please hurry the fuck up and get over here as well. This is gonna be a fight. This is definitely gonna be a fight. This might be the fight that decides the fate of this campaign. Okay. Alright, um... Great. They have friends, but alright, we're winning. Please capture Temujin! And, of course, most of them are going to get away. But let's pursue them. That's what we're gonna have to do. Merge the armies and pursue. I just need to... Alright, and what we can do is I'm gonna leave the catapults behind. I'm gonna leave the siege force here. Okay, uh, leave the siege force and pursue. Oh god. Stay there. Stay there. My skilled vassal! Take the reins. Yes, do it. You do it yourself. They are so fast! Question is, is how far do they retreat? That's what I need to know. Oh my god. I hate in this game how they remove the ability to actually interact with retreating armies. Like, you used to be able to ta to catch retreating armies, and you can still do it in, like, Europa Universalis. And it pisses me off a lot that it's literally, it's not something you can do in this game. I detest that. Because that should absolutely be a thing. Okay. We should be able to catch them. Ugh, damn it! Okay, we'll catch some of them. That's good. Good enough. Alright, they're coming for me. That's fine. I'll fight them here. They want to send in their men to die. Yeah, we wiped the entire force there. That's good. Uh, we now control Sitkend. Great. Um, move up to here and take that. Alright, we should wipe this army as well. Let's try and capture their last army. Okay. We're back. Uh, my game crashed. And that was annoying. Um, so I'm going... Basically what I've done is I will cut everything that happened prior to the 1st of July uh, out of the previous uh, recording. And then just stick this on the end. Um, which, fortunately, actually this is going to work decently well for me because... In the previous recording I did not notice that there was an independence faction coming and they declared independence. So, this time... I've noticed. Thank you. Unerring foresight. <laughs> Call this cheating if you want, but again, I think that there should be some sort of, uh, or maybe there was a pop-up and I just removed it because the pop-up system is pretty stupid with what comes up and what does not come up. Um, but there should be some sort of system that makes it abundantly clear that a faction is about to press demands so that you can act on it. Um, but, uh, yeah. That did not happen. 
So, uh, unfortunately, yeah, my game crashed, and I don't know why. Uh, I guess we will see if it happens again. If it happens again, then we have a problem. <laughs> and uh, this, then this might be the uh, last episode of this uh, <laughs> series, which would be a real shame. Like that would be that would be pretty awful, considering the uh, effort that's gone into this. And how far we've gotten, but I guess we'll find out. Um, I'll look and see what the date of the crash was, so I'll keep an eye on uh, the time. But uh, hopefully it's all fine. Maybe it was something that was triggered because of the uh, faction pressing its demands. Because it was kind of weird, like the Independence faction... Okay, he's still... He's still doing it, even though we're at 100 favor here. He still wants Independence. Of the Musaid Shadam, huh? He's still gonna press his demands. I'm a bit conf- Is it because he's not on my council? Alright, fine. I'll put him on my damn council. I, I have some space somewhere, anyways. So, actually, let's- You know what? You go there. Hopefully that'll help. I got, like, one month to do this. Alright, you can be that guy. And, uh, I need a new court champion. Which is gonna be you. Hopefully that'll take him off of there. Please? I don't... I don't understand. Why is the discontentment at 92? Like... <laughs> he's on my council. He's got what he wanted. We're at maximum disposition. Okay, we've honed the disposition, or we've honed his skills. That happened in the previous recording as well. Alright, the faction has disbanded. Thank fuck. No, it's still not disbanded. This is a different faction. Okay, let's um, retake some more castles. Okay, we've retaken that. We've retaken all kinds of stuff here. Uh, let's take Balashgun back. We should win pretty soon. Salt in the wound. Um, no. Be compassionate. Okay, uh, no, I'm not going to be threatened now. If you're going to be a traitor... Okay, it's just Baghdad. We'll deal with him in a minute. We will deal with him shortly. I uh, just want to make sure that the Mongols are out of my hair. All right, let's let's speed up the time again. Okay, they're coming back. God damn it! All right, let's leave a siege force here. Okay, we're not gonna be able to catch them before they. Uh, actually, we might be able to. Where are they going though? They're going up that way. All right, fine. Okay, why don't you pull back? Oh, they're so fast. We, we need to watch what's going on up there as well. Okay, I'm losing territories. New diplomacy lifestyle perk. Yeah, I call a bit of bullshit with that, uh... With that faction, like... I don't know. I'm calling it a lot of bullshit in this episode. It's, uh, some of the game mechanics that have been going on here, like the utter lack of any diplomatic options for the Mongols or for interacting with the Mongols, was uh, is pretty dumb. Not gonna lie, it's pretty dumb. Oh, we took Chakatai hostage, huh? Well, that'll let us win. Okay, great. You're gonna pay me a ton of money. Get out of my damn lands. I keep all, I keep my titles. Okay, we're gonna try and uh, scheme to kill him. Actually, and I expose his secret. 
too. Even though I, I'm the one who converted him to witchcraft. Alright. <laughs> I might not be a schemer, but I'm doing okay here. Mental break. Too busy. I'm going for a ride right now. Yes. Alright. And I'm going to go teach my vassal a lesson. So I've got the, uh, the forces for it. Alright. Where's my other little army? You guys need to um, merge down here. Why don't we... We'll all meet up in Tabaristan. How's that? Okay. Dangerous faction, another one? Okay, so this is... It, it does pop up. Oh, God. Uh, let's call upon this guy, yes. Realm will lose land when Vassal... Inherits foreign title. Realm will lose land when Vassal dies. I, I don't really care. Don't really care, okay? We need to kill... We need to kill Genghis. That's what needs to happen here, alright? Uh, is there anybody else that we can uh, bring in? Anybody that we can bribe? What about you? We can bribe you. 61 gold, that sounds like a fair deal. And you? Oh, you're already ex uh, considering an offer? You for 61 gold? No problem. You for... I don't care. It's literally just get everyone in. We're gonna we're gonna give him the good old Julius Caesar treatment, right? Then we're gonna. So this is how we're gonna actually get Baghdad, guys. This is this is how it's gonna be. They wanted to rebel. Uh, well, we are going to take their lands. All right, we lost our spy master, of course, because our spy master was. The dude, you are actually going to help on our schemes, because we need to kill. We have a con to kill. Why is it stuck? Ah, because there's a, an event. Uh, the lure of language. Time to hit the books. Shah Salahadin. Is this the guy that's at war with us? Is this the guy that's at war with us? Yeah. Uh, hire a tutor to instruct me? Why bother? Sokdin is clearly superior. Yeah, in this case I'm saying that because I don't want to have anything to do with this guy. Because I am going to probably uh, revoke all of his titles and execute him after I capture him. Because I gave him everything. I gave him a ton of stuff. And uh, he still wanted more. It's been a long war. Well, lots of wars, actually. There was, of course, uh, the little invasion, which took a bit of our land as well, but honestly, I don't care. Like, we have so much territory that I'm fine with uh, abandoning a, uh, a single war. Uh, let, let's take a look at the world while we're waiting for our men to show up. Oh my god, Umayyads. <laughs> They're Greek. They're Greek. They control. What is this? They're Ashari Greeks. They control Europe. <laughs> I don't know. I... <laughs> this, this fucking game. Alright. <laughs> the Jewish Finns. Yep, of course. The Jewish Swedes. The Ch <laughs> Man, Dan, Norwegians. Oh, man. This game is wild. This world is wild. Let's look at the religion. See what's going on here. Right, nothing else that's too crazy. Unfortunately, Manichaeanism is losing a bit of ground. The Vaishnavites are pretty powerful, for sure. And of course, the Ashari Islam is, uh... Massive! <laughs> Especially since they now control the Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> it's funny because they're Greeks, and it's also funny because they're Ashari Muslims. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, um, target is talking to an agent, um, intrigue challenge, yeah, we're, okay, fine, how's it going? We're still, we're still doing pretty good, hopefully we assassinate him and that'll break his empire up, because he'll have a, uh, a nasty, uh, so we have, we have this guy, who are you? I'm just gonna recruit him. 
He's a knight. He's not a very good knight, but we'll need all the knights we can get. So. Let's raise everything, including the rest of our men-at-arms here. Should take only a few days. We're not that far from the capital. How's that army coming along? They're taking a while. That's our siege force, unfortunately. And we need to move now. Like, we, we don't have time to wait for them. So they can they can come in and uh, take up position right around here. Because um, we need this army to amass with this one. And we need to immediately just take the fight to the enemy. And take, our, take some of our territories back. Because we should be able to win this war. Like. Um, the question is, no, we, we'll go for their armies first. So we have the numerical advantage and they're isolated right now because the rest of them are all down here. They're fighting against other enemies, which is great. And then my uh, siege force can move in. Okay, uh, nice. The Khan is dead. All right, we poisoned him with wine. Wonderful. Emperor Temujin is dead, walled up and soon to be forgotten. Oh, we walled him up in his own thing? Oh, that's hilarious. Brutal. I said we weren't going to do intrigue with this character, but circumstances called for it. Okay, so, hopefully this breaks up the Borgesians. Not as much as I would have liked. Jochi here. I um, feel like we need to just murder all of them. Right? We just need to murder all of the, uh, the Borkishin dynasty. Assassinate all of the Mongols. That's how we deal with them. I don't want to fight them, okay? It's just annoying. Uh, we recruit, uh, this guy into my court. Yeah? We'll bring him into the court. Uh, he'll, he's gonna have to convert, though. Can we catch them, please? Would like to actually, like, fight these guys. Oh, where are you going? Yeah. Right. Hopefully we can catch them. Yes, we caught them. And hopefully we win. Okay, no, we're fucking losing. No, we're 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 not losing, but it's it's messy, that's for damn certain. It's going dead even here. All right, we're slowly winning. Slowly but surely winning. We need to- oh my god, why did you go this way? I legit, while they were up here, clicked to go that way. But they're like, no, we're gonna go all the way around. Uh, deserves to know her power. Yes, good. Let Roxana become a witch. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with this uh, other army here. Uh, it's, all these wars are annoying. We got like no war score for that. What, what is this? Everybody is fighting us. The Hemavati again? Jesus, this is annoying. Alright, at least in this case we're fighting on open ground, which give us the advantage. And we have allies. We beat them here. Fine. Okay, we win that. Let's, let's head these guys off before they can get out of here. Great. Beat them too. Excellent. Winning battles. Great. Let's retake some castles. Oh my god. Alright. I'm, uh, I am going to, uh... Oh man, this is... This is rough. I may have to cede some territory to somebody, but we're going to do that in the next episode, guys. This, is, uh, this has been a long episode already, and I'm going to have to do some extensive editing because uh, of the crash. But thankfully, it didn't crash again. Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed. We, we dealt with the first wave of the Mongols. I predict a high likelihood that we're going to have to deal with more of them. But we're just going to keep on uh, assassinating their leaders. And, uh, yeah, Zartos' reign has been a tumultuous one, to say the least. Though, not his fault. It's been, uh, he's been doing a good job keeping things together. 
Yeah, and hopefully he'll continue doing a good job keeping things together. But right now I'm fighting against two separate kingdoms. And um, internal enemies, it's, it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough. Guys, like it if you've enjoyed it. And um, I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.